Hi, welcome to the Center for Strategic and International Studies. This is the inaugural podcast for the U.S.-China Policy Advisory Roundtable. We're very pleased to do this. This is an important uh, initiative for, for us, for CSIS, and, and we really think for, for U.S.-China relations. This is such an important relationship between the United States and China, such a, a, a robust commercial, uh, uh, economic, um, and diplomatic relationship. It really uh, is, is remarkable how close the two countries have become over the years and how intricate and involved the conversations and dialogue between the two countries has become. So that we wanted to share some of that dialogue with the public in general, both in the United States and in China, and make sure that all of us have a better chance to see how robust that dialogue actually is. We're very pleased to be joined today by Ambassador Zhang Yesui of the People's Republic of China to Washington, D.C and Assistant Secretary for East Asia and Pacific Affairs, Kurt Campbell from the Department of State. I'm going to ask each of them some questions and hopefully stimulate some dialogue and hopefully stimulate some comment from you all in uh, uh, the greater internet community. Uh, let me start with, uh, with, with you, uh, Secretary Campbell. Given our strong economic interdependence, given the, the broad context of U.S.-China relations, why is it important that we build trust between us? Um, first of all, let me also uh, thank you, Charles, for hosting this and thank CSIS. And may I also say that it has been my uh, honor and privilege to work with uh, Ambassador Zhang. He is an outstanding representative of his country and is a true professional. And uh, it's an honor working uh, with him. We are busy currently uh, in the midst of preparing for an enormously important event, the arrival <coughs> next week of President Hu Jintao here to Washington. And uh, I think it would be uh, fair to say that we are both spending more time with each other than we are with our families. But uh, uh, very grateful for the chance to be with him here. And I could not agree more uh, of the importance of this relationship as a whole. What we've seen in recent years is a substantial increase in dialogue across every element of our relationship. And it's important because given the role that the United States and China uh, are playing together in the world, uh, we cannot afford uh, to have misunderstandings or mistakes. And one of the things that we have seen, um, and again, very ably uh, uh, supported by Ambassador Zhang, is a deep uh, sustained conversation on the broadest range of issues. Um, it's one of the most important ingredients in uh, contemporary diplomacy. And I must say that the Obama administration and Secretary Clinton are completely committed to continuing this conversation and stepping up the pace, if that's possible. Ambassador Zhang, how would you describe the importance <coughs> of building trust, or why is it important? Well, first of all, I would like to thank you, Charles, for this opportunity. And also, I'd like to thank Assistant Secretary for the support that he has, he has always uh, given me. And I think he's a great colleague to, to work with. Mm. I think uh, the China-U.S. relationship is one of the most important relationships in the world. Mm. Uh, I think that the interests of China and the United States have never been so closely interconnected. Uh, currently, we are each other's second largest uh, trading partners. Uh, our bilateral trade last year exceeded 380 billion US dollars. Uh, the United States uh, is the number one source of foreign direct investment mm. in China, and China has been the fastest growing export market for the United States for 10 consecutive years. And we have also worked very effectively on many international, regional issues. On the other hand, mm. uh, I think given the differences in our history, culture, and the level of economic development, uh, we do have differences, mm. even disputes, mm. on a number of issues. But I think what is important is that we address them through increased dialogue and communications uh, based upon equality and mutual benefit yeah. and mutual benefit and mutual respect because we have to manage the problems well i truly believe that a stable and growing bilateral relationship is not only in the fundamental interest of both uh, the chinese and american peoples but also 
for world peace, stability, and development. Thank you. Now, uh, Secretary Campbell, the uh, Obama administration has prioritized educational exchange as a key plank of its relationship with, with China. Can you describe the 100,000 Strong Initiative and what, what is the educational exchange uh, a, a priority about? Charles, I'd be very pleased to. And first of all, let me just say I completely concur with, with what Ambassador Zhang has stated in terms of the, how to see this balanced relationship and the commitment uh, to it and why that's so essential in the current environment. Um, look, on a day-to-day -day basis, there are a number of issues that we work with, uh, work together on, whether it's regional issues, global issues, bilateral issues. Um, one of the things that uh, Secretary Clinton and President Obama have underscored is that it's essential that we do something for future generations. One of the things that we've seen in recent years is a substantial increase in the number of Chinese students that have come to the United States. And we support this. We think this is a wonderful thing. And it's good for us, and it's good for uh, 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 Chinese citizens. Um, what we have committed to doing over the course of the first four years of the Obama administration is to, in, is to get to a level of, over those four years, of about 100,000 students uh, uh, having gone and studied in China. Um, we think that this is essential on so many levels, but as there is an increasing realization in our country that in all fundamental respects, mm -hmm. the 21st century is the Asian Pacific uh, uh, century, and at the center of that is uh, an extraordinarily dynamic uh, uh, China. Uh, we want very much to have a new generation of American students who increasingly uh, uh, can speak uh, uh, Chinese Mandarin, who can travel uh, confidently, who understand commerce and uh, all the issues culturally uh, uh, that are important in China. Uh, this cadre of, 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 of students will play a critical role in our businesses, in academia, uh, in our uh, nonprofit organizations. And we think it is to be successful, to be uh, effectively entrepreneurial in the Asian Pacific context, um, creating this next generation of uh, uh, students and uh, people who are deeply knowledgeable and committed to the U.S.-China relationship uh, is essential. And that's what we've set about doing. And I must say, of all the things I'm involved with, this is the issue that has really seized me, I'm extremely enthusiastic about, and very much want to see succeeding. Thanks. Ambassador Zhang, from your perspective, as Chinese ambassador to the U.S. is how important is educational exchange as a, a public diplomacy tool, as a as a tool that, to enhance relations? Well, I think I, I fully agree with uh, Kat on the importance of uh, educational exchange. Mm -hmm. I think when you look at the bilateral relationship as a whole, you always see the important role that educational exchanges has played in promoting our bilateral relations. Uh, currently, there are 130,000 Chinese students in the United States mm. and about 20,000 American students in China. I, I think these exchanges not only help to improve the knowledge of the respective countries, but also can greatly enhance the, the mutual understanding and friendship between them. Mm. Uh, this is the kind of situation where I think our bilateral relationship should be built upon. And uh, uh, as, you, as, as, uh, as Kat knows uh, very well, that the Chinese government has welcomed and supported the initiative by President Obama to send about 100,000 American students in China to China mm. in about four years' time. And, uh, as, as President Hu said that uh, the Chinese government would do whatever possible to help realize this initiative. Uh, next week, uh, President Hu Jintao will pay a state visit to the United States. Uh, uh, so far, I think both sides have been uh, making preparations. And uh, we're very happy that the president is coming at a very important time in our bilateral relations. I, I am confident that this visit uh, is going to be very, very important 
uh, for bilateral relations, uh, uh, which will be upgraded to a higher level. And I hope that this visit would greatly enhance people-to-people uh, -people exchanges. Uh, now, generally speaking, how, is it, how important is, is building people-to-people -people relationships, particularly among younger people? How does that influence the direction of the U.S.-China relationship long term? Well, first of all, I think it's essential, and I would also just underscore that Ambassador Zhang is being modest <laughs> about the commitment from the Chinese government. When we first announced this, um, one of the first things that happened was the Chinese government says, we applaud this, we support it, and we are going to uh, make a commitment towards this goal. So they have provided the wherewithal for 10,000 American students over the course of the next four years to study in China. It's extraordinarily generous and some young person is going to have a chance that he or she would not have had uh, to learn and uh, live with uh, Chinese students in uh, a Chinese university. And so we're, we're very grateful for that and we thank him for his own uh, particular role. I, I think that um, in the current context, the most important element of building trust is to broaden that group of people who are knowledgeable about the other's society. Um, I think today there is frankly probably a broader group of people in China that know more about the United States mm. than there's ever been in the past. Without doubt that's the case. Uh, we actually want to do a similar thing in the United States to create a broader pool of Americans who are deeply interested in the developments and in um, the prospects for U.S.-China relations. And so I don't think it can be underestimated. I think this is really um, one of the most important things that we can do now, not just for the current period, but specifically and especially for the future. Well, that's interesting. Ambassador John, I mean, talking more about the future, that there are, as you mentioned, 130,000 Chinese students here. What does that say about the future direction? Of, what's that the impact of, of their being here on U.S.-China relations. And, and more broadly, mm -hmm. can you talk a little bit about public diplomacy? I mean, China has made great efforts um, uh, in, in a variety of areas, not just education. I know that most recently the China is, is uh, helping create a China garden section at the, the U.S. Okay. National Arboretum. What, what is the, the, the role of, of public diplomacy from the Chinese side? Uh, uh, well, uh, I'll, I'll come to the China garden sure. in, in a moment. Uh, I think that uh, we're living in the era of information, even though we're living in the era of uh, information. Mm -hmm. But there's no s real substitute for face-to-face -face communications. Mm -hmm. uh, as, as far as China is concerned, uh, we will continue to uh, make the best efforts to understand the mm -hmm. outside world. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, I think there's a real need to increase public diplomacy and to promote the understanding of China. So, so uh, I, 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 uh, this is where I see the importance of people-to-people uh, -people exchanges. Mm. Uh, as Kat uh, knows very well that uh, the people-to-people -people exchange mechanism, which our two governments actually launched in May last year, uh, would provide a unique platform uh, for both governments to promote people-to-people -people exchanges. And I think this will be, uh, the effects of this will be seen uh, in the future. And uh, I, I really think that this is going to build a very solid base for bilateral relations. With regard to the China Garden uh, plan, I think uh, Kat has been a great supporter of this idea and he has done his uh, utmost to help uh, uh, in the process. The original plan was to build a typical traditional Chinese garden in the National Arboretum. And uh, there was an MOU signed uh, by both of our governments mm. uh, to, 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 to help uh, build uh, the garden. Uh, I think uh, so far uh, we've made uh, uh, real progress. and. Uh, uh, according to the plan, when it's completed, uh, the, the garden will cover an area of 12 acres. Mm. And also, uh, it, will be, uh, it will be built on the basis of a traditional garden style from the southern part of China. Mm. And I must emphasize that the original 
design actually came from a group of Chinese and American designers. Mm -hmm. And I understand that the, the construction will, will be jointly undertaken by Chinese and American contractors. So the, 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 uh, I view the China Garden as a bridge of friendship mm -hmm. between the Chinese and the American peoples. And uh, the Chinese uh, side will do its utmost uh, to, to help uh, and to work with the, the American side to, to materialize uh, this as, as early as possible. Mm -hmm. Aside from the, the, the cultural and as clear aesthetic benefits of this kind of people-to-people -people exchange, are there business and, and economic benefits to be gained from people-to-people -people exchange in your view? Well, I actually see uh, uh, great benefits coming out of people-to-people uh, -people exchanges. Uh, I think that as uh, our economic trade relations uh, continue to expand, uh, the need for qualified human resources will increase. Mm. And with the increase of person-to-person uh, uh, -person, uh, exchanges, uh, there will be more business opportunities. Actually, bus business opportunities uh, can come from people-to-people uh, -people exchanges. And I think uh, what is really very, very important is that when uh, people uh, uh, began to see tangible benefits coming from this bilateral relationship. There will be more populist involvement and strong support from the general public, mm. uh, from the peoples of our, both countries. I think this is a really very, very uh, important factor in our bilateral relations. Thank you. Kurt, you have the last word on this subject. I, I'm uh, completely excited about this project. Um, imagine just a beautiful peaceful garden with some traditional Chinese architecture native native species of bamboo and other uh, pines and conifers um, uh, it will be peaceful and wonderful and just imagine the people that will stroll not just from Washington but all parts of the country uh, the National Arboretum is one of the most visited sites uh, uh, in the capital and um, I think it will uh, uh, spark uh, interest uh, in China. I think it will be a deeply peaceful and restful place. And I think it will be appreciated as a gift uh, from the Chinese people. Uh, next week, when uh, uh, President uh, Hu comes uh, 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 to Washington, I think we will be taking some steps towards uh, making this dream a reality. And um, I'm excited about it. And I, I think these um, uh, uh, efforts, uh, these uh, educational people-to-people uh, -people, uh, 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 projects play an enormous role and a very positive role uh, in our relationship. And I want very much for both of these come to fruition and many others. So Secretary Kurt Campbell, Ambassador Zhang Yeswei, thank you so much for your comments today and for your candor. Um, I'm hoping this kind of people-to-people -people exchange can, can continue through other uh, efforts of the U.S.-China Policy Advisory Roundtable. We hope to have mm -hmm. prominent Chinese, prominent Americans uh, have come together and have uh, good dialogue, even on issues where there is, uh, is occasional sources of tension and friction, mm -hmm. so that both publics and publics around the world can understand exactly where the United States-China relationship is going and where, it's, uh, where it is. This Thank is you so much. It's a great <laughs> initiative. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you very sir. much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Ambassador. Okay. Okay. Thank perfect. you. <laughs>